Okay, so you got the snap ring out the back side there. Uh-huh. Bearings go out the front side, get them off the sides, so crush them. Okay, so where's the snap ring at? Sure. Any damage on that? Looks good. Oop, kind of lose it. Now this should just pull straight up. And is that a groove out there or is that just oil? Is this right? Or the bearing area. Just right here in the bearing area. Yeah. Is that a groove right there by your thumbnail or not? Not there, further down. Oh, uh here? -huh. Yeah. No, it's just. Just grease. It's just groovy. Okay, it's worn. No pit marks that I see. That's a good sign. That's your old original grease. We can wipe that off. We don't need that. So these bearings in here are probably fine. This is your seal right here. Doesn't do much to me. It's not falling out either. Uh -huh. Okay, so just repack all that. It'll be fine. So you got dirty rag there to do it. I can't put the camera back in right now. My hand's filthy. Get the rag right there, use it. Alright. Just wipe this thing off? Is that what you want? Yeah, just wipe off that old grease. You didn't bring a towel with you, so. I'm not using that for this. No, I got paper towels. Oh. I do have some paper towels. Nice and smooth and good. You want to feel it, make sure it's still smooth everywhere, not rough. That looks good. Now, without the one roller in there, you can feel how much clearance you have. Some variance by just going like this. Uh -huh. See how it's nice and tight there? See, it hardly goes up at all. Yeah, yeah. So, you know it's broken in. See, it's. Yeah. You got like double you're supposed to. That's good. You don't have to worry about sticking. You the same thing on this side, you just check it like this and you get the same look. Because they make these bearings in oversize, so. You, go, you can rebuild them a little bit if you want. The rollers look nice and smooth. No rust. Good sign. Well broken in, but not excessive. So it's good. This looks pretty good. Knock off the heavy stuff in there. Okay. Where's your grease? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. The blue stuff. Don't worry about wasting any of it. It's already got some in there already. Right? Mm -hmm. This used to be on top of here, not the other way around. But. Must be on the, it hits against the shoulder of that, I guess. All right. So I'm just put some new grease on here. It's a nice, uh, greasy job. Where's your fancy gloves? Got those on? Yeah, I forgot my home. Oh, jeez, no gloves. Oh, jeez, your hands are gonna rot off. Yeah. Jeez, what are we gonna do now? I'll deal with it, I guess. You have to deal with it, huh? Jeez, gonna be like me. Dirty. Soiled. <laughs> okay, pick that up so I don't get your wheel all dirty. I need that piece. Stand up. 
shove this back in where it came from. Put the washer in there. And drop the bearings in. Okay, you didn't take that apart yet. Okay. So I don't need to take it apart. What was, what don't worry about that. Just flip that over. Okay. Just push it out with your thumb. Okay. See a bunch of stuff should come out. You see it? Okay, it looks good. It's not all chewed up in there. It's More nice stuff in here. Nice and smooth. Should be all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah, it's a cornucopia. All sorts of stuff in here. It's pretty good condition, actually. It's good. The whole bike. Yeah, well, they restored the wheels also when they rebuilt the bike. Mm -hmm. How's that looking there? Washers in there. I was trying to get them all out. I don't need them all out. Oh, okay. Why don't you tell me these things? I don't take them all out then. There's no more washers in there. That's called a, that's called the inner plate. The inner plate, of course. What was I thinking? That doesn't come out. The thrust shim washers are right here. And you got the big flat washer. Uh, let's see which way does that go? As I recall, the flat flat washer goes first, as I recall. I think that's how they do it. I'm trying to remember. Flat wash. No, the flat washers go on first. The shim washers go on first, then the sh thrust washer, basically. <clears throat> I'm still getting dirty. Don't worry okay, about right, me. Right. Yeah, don't worry about me. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Don't worry. Okay. I'm on it though. I'm, I'm okay. here for you. Then we got the uh, inner plate thing there. Goes in. I got some more grease. Need some more grease. I got the other tit washer. The tit washer keeps it from moving. See now it doesn't rotate. That's why they're shaped like that. And then you want to put a little bit of grease on there just to make sure it's got some grease in there. <coughs> make sure it's greasy enough. Mm -hmm. okay, go back down there. It doesn't fit anymore. What's up with that? It doesn't fit. Yeah. Got too much a mile away from the end. Got too much grease on it? Yeah, got something going on. You should tighten it down. Screw it. Screw her in there, boss. You only need three. One over there and two here. Yeah. I'm gonna tighten it up, see if it goes back together. If you gotta force it, we're doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have to force it. Should go right in. Touch that grease, you'll get greasy. Uh, I'm trying to so hard not to touch grease. Yeah, there's a lot of it there. Somebody made a mess. It's almost like they didn't care. They just greased everything. Look at that. Stuff everywhere. It's just oozing out now. It's got excess grease yeah. in there. Oh, look at the squishing coming out. Oh, oh that thing's just coming out of every, all the orifices are just becoming greasy. Look at all that excess material coming out of there. Squish, squish. Someone's going to have to clean that. Oh, man. I'm going to have to pay extra to have it detailed now. Okay, don't get too carried away with that. Okay, are you done squishing it all? Yep. Did it go down like it's supposed to? Seemed to. Okay, I'm going to put the other screws in there then. Okay. I'm going to have to loosen up the other ones to let them line up. We'll see. Did you put the brand new gasket in there and all that so it wouldn't leak? When did, we, did you bring me a new gasket? It's experienced. It's new to you almost. It was new once. Yeah. Is that close enough? Yeah, I guess so. You have to loosen those up now to... It would appear. It would yeah, appear. Yeah, that's a good thing. Those screws are easy to strip. They're quarter 24s. So. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, much better, much better. Yeah, look at that. It's almost like a fit now. Huh. Yeah, you're supposed to do a star pattern. Yes, sir. I just, I knew that. I just seen if you were going to catch it or not. See if I paid attention. <laughs> yeah. <huh>? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Testing me, huh? Yeah, great. Good job. Did I pass? No. <laughs> so are you going to do these again another thousand miles? 
Yeah, well, I don't know if I'm going to put that many miles on it. Okay, good. It could be somebody else's bike by then. Yeah, but you're supposed to do it every thousand miles. You didn't take your grease with you, though. Look at all the excess grease everywhere. That's, that's vintage grease. That's not even the new stuff. Mm. What happened to all that new stuff I put in there? It's still in there, I guess, well, apparently. Apparently, the new stuff's in there. The new stuff in there is in there. snap ring back together over here. We got more grease is coming up. Oh, somebody got grease all over that. Mm -hmm. Wipe it off that it's nasty. 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 Who did that? Jeez, that's new grease too. Okay, so just put that back in there like it came out. Are those number three or number four pliers? Yep. <laughs> One of them. Oop, pop. It appears. Appears to be in there? In there. It's in there? Didn't fall out? That's it. Still turn? Yep. Kind of. Appears to be tight though. Tight's better than loose? Uh, in this case it is, yes. Okay, perfect. You got grease on my rack though. Mm. Let me wipe that up. I'm only making a mess on my rack. Jeez. Happy now? It took me all day to clean that yesterday, remember? Mm. Okay. What's this? Screen stand. What's this? Axle. That would be called a tree stand mandrel for a star hub. Okay. It's almost like it was made for it or something. Mm. Look at that. Amazing, huh? Totally. Where's your wrench? It's right there. Freaking wrench right there. What the hell? Oh. I mean, it was a snake. What a bitch you. It almost did. It's hidden. Got a camera here. You can see it. That's hand tight. Okay, I need a 916 box wrench. Double ended. Got one over there? Yeah. Did I just see some both ends? So we're going to take out the universal harbor and we're going to put a, the real mandrel in there. There he is, that's the one I like. Okay, so good. I'm gonna make an adjustment here. and everything. It's almost like this tuning stand is made for that. Amazing. It is. Oh, it rolls and everything. Okay, we're going to check it for trueness and torque retention device. Oh, you got a big flat spot in that rim there in one spot. Is that where you beat on it? Uh, I'm not talking about me beating on nothing, no. Yeah, it's pretty close. So it's hardly like even barely moving. Okay, so we're going to check our truing stand, <coughs> our truing here, the wheel. So, here's another howling dog around here. Alright, so we're going to take our pointer up here. Okay. So it appears to be low here, or high in this case. It's also going that way, so I'm gonna move it this way at the same time. Yep. So we want the rim to come up and that way at the same time. So we just tighten this one side up here. It appears to only be hitting right here. So most of the torque can be just on these two spokes right here. Now we're gonna see how tight these are. Are these supposed to move? Hmm. These are not moving. You don't suppose they're rusty, do you? Hard to say. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do too much of this oil.
All right, we're back. Camera keeps losing the battery. So anyway, we can't fix this problem right here, so you can watch it bouncing around here. Because the spokes don't want to move. We'll have to live with it. I'll try to keep it under, you know, 65 miles an hour. Under 165? <laughs> this thing ain't doing no 165. <laughs> Profiling, just for profiling. I know it's going to do more than 65, so. Okay, now one advantage of this device here, we can do, we can check the inplay. To your hub. Yeah. I thought you have a little bit. A little bit's good, huh? Yeah, very little. If you pull really, really hard, you can see it squishing back and forth. Let me put a bunch of grease in there. No, it's not squishing all out. Yeah. You got about 10 thousand there, you're fine. Okay. It matches everything else. So Ship it. Should be fine. It's experienced. It's experienced? Let's see, I need to lock these down here so I can do this nut right here. Uh, okay, that was a lot of work for a uh, little bit. But it looked impressive. Mm. At least we check the end play easily. Yeah. Better be on yeah, the yeah. Oh, that's permanent. Oh, man. It won't, it won't come out now. Hammer time. You got a hammer? Does it look like this one? That's a precision fit there, let me tell you. Now, not too many people have these laying around. But every truant stand comes with one when you buy the truant stand. In case you have any new truant stands laying around. Yeah. All right, that's good. Good to go. You mount a tire upon it? We're gonna do it in a break, anything? Um, well, we gotta do something with it because it doesn't work very well. <laughs> you said it was working great. No, I said that it was, no, I didn't say it was working great, I know that. Appears to be groovy. It's a groovy old bike. So what do you wanna do to it? Fix it. Fix it. How are we going to fix it? Just the shoes out for starters. Is the lever bottomed out? There's lots of lining on here. Yeah. yeah. They're not worn out. You can see squat. Where's that flash on that? One I had once. Mm -hmm. Resembles this one. So the linings are very smooth, but they have lots of material on them. Yes. So they're broken in. It's in very good shape. And the brake drum is uh, nice and broken in too. Where'd my light go? There we go. So it's all glazy and uneven. So if you pull these off, you can go ahead and uh, scuff up the surface here. Okay. And get some new surface going. If you take this and put it on a lathe and run a little sandpaper across there, you can clean that up a little bit. Can you make it so these things push out farther, or is there a different? Uh... Well, the adjuster's right up here. Are you having a problem with adjusting the brakes? No, oh, you do that too. Is that your problem, or what? Won't be a problem after we adjust it, I guess. I'm not sure what your problem over here was. This is like this. Not throwing far enough, but yeah, I guess just that and then we'll fix it. Yeah, well, the more these go out, the more less leverage you have to make the brake work. Mm -hmm. So, one of the tricks you can do is you can put sheet metal across here and tack it in. Mm -hmm. That expands them out to a bigger yeah, yeah, size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of work. What about other new shoes? Do they have new shoes that aren't going to that are gonna fit better than those? No, because these shoes are like brand new. No. So much lying. No, I see, I see that, but I didn't know if like maybe they're rebonded or something and these are just worn out from No, that's years. how they come. They come really small and you have mm -hmm. to. Basically, if you don't put shims under here, there's not much you can do to it. Mm. So, let's see. I'm assuming these have relatively new lining. You can put new ones on that have more metallic lining on them. I don't know how old these things are. Mm -hmm. It looks like these are older ones, but they have more of a metallic lining available now if you want. If you want to swap out the whole shoe, we can do that. And then we can, I'll go ahead and sand the drum a little bit and clean it up. I don't really want to turn it, mm -hmm. just sand it. That's fine. So if you want to do something like that, we can do that. It's up to you. And so but at least you got to do is scuff off this glazing on here. Right, right, right. Make it smoother. Well, you could do that right there on the bike, can I? Yeah, I really want to have all that grit going into okay, all, the, all right. the parts here. Okay. 
These just pop right off. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right, right, no worries. Yeah, if you just grab a hold of here and just go like this, it should come off pretty easy. A little bit more than just one hand. Down. Well, I only got one hand. Oh, you got two. I see the other hold here. I'll use that. Here, now I got two hands. They're both being used. Yeah, doing a good job. There you go. Arr. Told you it was easy. Yeah, just like you said. Look at that. It's like they almost came off. Remember, that was the easy part. Putting them back on is harder. Yeah. Old and gritty. Old and gritty? You mean like from 1965? Not very pretty, but old and gritty. Old and gritty, but pretty pretty damn nice. What are you doing? Did you get that broken? Or this must be the front one that says up on it. Yeah. This one here says R R. I don't see that metallic material in the brake lining, so I'm assuming they're just regular every old day brake lining. Mm -hmm. But they are basically new. They're not they're hardly used at all. I guess we'll run them. So it's just it's the more the organic material instead of the more metallic material. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, if we you grind them, we grind the leading edges away a little bit, it'll help from the digging and scraping better in our lining okay. area. But yeah, if we put something on here to close that gap up to make it. Uh, Do you have something to put on there? Um, I'm sure we can find something around here. Mm, I'm not sure about that. That's sheet metal. I don't have sheet metal around here. Oh, uh, you know, an old fender or something? I can pull a whack a piece off of or something? One right here with a dent in it. No, us. no, we mess with that fender. What's it? You're not using it. Uh, there's some sheet metal out there, isn't it? Oh, no, that's probably that's some wood out Lexon there. Lexon or something. Huh? That's that. That's wood out there on top of the wood, car. Wood. There is a car out there underneath all that. That's. Oh. But there's not a lot of metal left. It's all rusty. Yeah, I probably got a tin stamps at home. Yeah, he's probably got some of that junk laying around. Yeah. All right, let me go play around. We'll find something here. We'll be back. All right, we're over here in the lathe. Give me some nice fresh sandpaper here. 120 grit. There you go. It's actually from right paper, but same difference. All right, so we're going to stick this in here, and we're just going to sand the piss out of this thing here. And we're going to go in and out a little bit to make it wear more evenly. Groovy. Broke it in now. So we got a nice, still uneven a little bit, but a lot better than it was. Knocks off some of the high spots. Gives a little bit of something new to work with. So that'll work the uh, shoes a little better. So anyway, that's all you need there. All right, that's it for that one.